Please enjoy this 20 minute beginner fitness flow with Joe Iacono. If you want to access more of his classes or join him for live strongboard sessions, you can find him on Instagram at moviementum underscore LLC. You can also find him at www.movementumllc.com. Good morning and welcome to the first class of your strongboard balance. Today I'm going to be showing you the different uses of the strongboard balance board. And we're going to start off uh, initially with some oversight of how the strongboard balance works. This is a multi-spray technology that allows you to not only create stability in your body, but also create a dynamic process in which the body is allowed to uh, come back to its normal flexibility and its normal balance by allowing the body to dynamically adjust. So the first thing to do before you get on the board is to know that there is nothing in the surrounding where you can get hurt um, because you are going to be creating adjustments with yourself and also uh, learning about how your body reacts. So the first thing to do is look around and to show that you, you don't have anything slippery, um, to know that the surface of the strongboard balance is clean and it's not wet. Secondly, you want to make sure you have a pair of great sneakers on that have grip that are tightly on your feet. So at least you know it's stabilizing your ankle and not moving around. You do not want to be doing this with slippers on or barefoot. You can do it uh, to a certain degree if you're doing some yoga. Um, but for the purposes of our class today, let's be uh, conforming with what we should be doing from the basics. So, have good sneakers on, make sure you have relaxed clothing on, and make sure everything is in a clean spot so that you can work on. So um, position yourself in front of the board to start. Um, and what you want to do is make sure that one, you realize you're going on a board that's in balance and not perfectly um, set. So once you go on one side, you'll have this reaction on the board that creates this imbalance. It's up to you and your body to adjust. So let's start by allowing ourselves to put our first foot on it, the right side, and you'll see that there's a teeter-totter that occurs in the board, which creates this upside on one side. So you wanna align your foot to the corner lip of the board, and as you do that, you press on that and you create imbalance, where you put the other side of the foot on. And now you have a equilibrium, right? You're not moving, you're in a static position, and the body is at an equilibrium with the board. If you realize the four springs that are in the center of the board are now out of balance. But even with that balance, you find that the certain tendons in the ankles are moving because there's a constant shift in my hands, there's a constant shift in your hips, and that alignment is creating energy, which is actually great because you know that the board is doing what it needs to do, and your body is adjusting to a point where it's learning um, to create and bundle up essentially this energy. Um, so it's a great thing. So let's start. First and foremost, you know, we'll, we'll do something easy. Let's go on and off the board so yet you get aligned to how this board works. So how do we get on? You saw that we put one leg on first, we adjusted ourselves and we put the other leg on. So let's get off of it. What we want to do is similar to what we did the first time. So you have to reverse engineer that. So if you depress on the right foot again, because if you realize as you press legs, your one side would be doing an extension, the other side is essentially given that energy to that side. So if I press on my right, my left side is going to go on, which creates this ability. Alexa off, which gives the ability of the body to offset. So let's get off the board. We'll press on the right, left leg back, 
make sure you're solid and you're on surface ground, and then get off the board. And you find that to be easy. So let's get back on the board. Right side on, press on it, gently get on, find your balance, notice your surroundings, create the energy, and then find yourself in equilibrium. And we'll get off again. Right side on, off. Before we start any type of workout, the best thing is to do is to do a slight stretching or slight warm up. So what we'll do is, let's do that. Let's do a slight stretching. The easiest thing that we can be doing, we can do some jumping jacks. Let's do five jumping jacks. So that we stretch out the arms, get some heat going in the body, and get the body in motion. Great. So now, let's get back on this on a simple form. What we're gonna do is a bilateral usage of the strong board. There are a couple of different uses and I'll be going through what we're gonna be doing. Let's start off with a very simple push-up. We're gonna be using the bilateral position where both hands will be on the board on an equidistant format, right in the center of the line that says strong board balance, which is a good um, aligner for how to put your hands. So let's get ourselves on our knees about a foot and a half away from the board, align your shoulders directly with your hands, and we're gonna be doing some modifications with this as well. Um, we have many different skill sets as we do these, so if you find yourselves that you are having any issues, you stop, reset, and then continue. Um, so we'll start first and foremost is creating yourself about a foot away. And the first modification we can do is in a plank formation with a full push-up. So you lift yourself into a plank formation, make sure your hands are over your chest and that you are in a 45 degree angle and you want to gently make sure you have balance on the board. And if you realize, as we saw earlier, with our feet, if you press the right, the left will go on. If you press the left, the right will go on. And you want to go and do a full press push-up. One. Two. And if you realize, the body is reacting with some, some movement and some jiggling. Um, that's actually your muscles reacting to tension, which is a good thing. Modification for this, if you find that the plank formation into a push-up is tough, go on your knees gently, lean over as you were with the push-up, and find yourself doing a full dip with your elbow back, looking forward, and doing the push-up. And you realize that you're going to get a full exercise from the strong board. And it hasn't moved, you're creating equilibrium, and you're essentially bottling that energy. So now we can get up and we can move on to our next exercise. Um, if I want to do a follow up from the chest, right, let's start and do, let's get on the board now with bilateral feet. So let's put one foot on. Get on our board. Let's find ourselves into a position of balance. Let's make sure that our hips are aligned, that our back is straight, that we're comfortable. And let's do an up and down motion we call a squat. So, a good thing to do when you do a squat is to make sure you look forward. Keep your head and neck aligned. Keep your composure straight. And what we do is we want to easily go into a semi-seated position where you're gently going forward. And my recommendation is to keep your hands in front as you do this. And you want to go down. Make sure your knees aren't going above your toes. You want to keep your back straight. Hands forward. A lot of people might want to go into a non-state position, which is fantastic too. 
and then you go up. And let's repeat that. Let's go down. And let's go up. Repeat. Down. And up. Oop, that was a bubble. <laughs> and let's repeat. Down. And up. If you realize, the balance board requires that the body, the muscles, the legs are all coordinated. That's the beauty of this board is that the body needs to be coordinated with the rest of your body. So as you go down, you realize if you go down with one leg first, you're going to get this wobble effect. So it's a quick reminder, which is great, uh, and it allows you to make those adjustments quite easily. So you realize that as you're doing the squat, you have to create this uniform energy of going up and down. Of course, the modification is just to put your hands forward, or other modification is to have some light weights, which were performed in more of an advanced stage, where you get your dumbbells in squats, hold them, and allow yourself to perform weighted squats. So let's get off the, the, the stronger balance, as we did. Remember, don't ever jump off the stronger board, because that would be a problem. <laughs> and you create an uh, injury to yourself. So, Right foot lean, left foot off, straight four. You're not slippery, you're not sliding. Great, so that's the first two exercises that we did. We did a bilateral push up, a bilateral foot squat. So now let's go on and do something that's great for what we call unilateral or one two. We're gonna do the basic lunge. So I'm going to adjust the board so it gives myself enough room to know that I have room around the area so I don't hurt myself. And we'll start with your right or left foot, whatever's um, easier to you. So what you want to do is put your right foot in the center of the designated area on the board. And you get a line here which shows you exactly where the center is. And if you realize, it's marked right in the center of the board with a line central to the board. So put your right foot on, and like a typical lunge, one, make sure you find balance. As the name designates, you wanna make sure that the body is balanced. So you wanna keep your shoulder straight, chest up, look forward, right foot on the board, left foot straight, Make sure it's, it's planted down in a strong foundation with a straight leg. Hands up, up right, or down, whatever's more comfortable. And what you want to do is lean forward and then full extension. Lean forward and full extension. Lean forward and full extension. Lean forward and full extension. Another way is to do essentially um, you know, partial yoga positions where you're doing yoga pose with your hands up and then leaning forward. And if you feel it, you feel it in your chest, you feel it in your abs, you feel it in your legs, you feel it in your front. And actually, the good thing part when you're learning to do this product is feel which muscles are, are, are working. You know, get a sense of how your body reacts. Get a sense of the small vibrations. Lean forward. Now, as you know, we need to get off this. So, best way to get off this is one, make sure you're in a balanced position, and then lift your leg and press forward. Let's do the other side. Stand that foot away from the board. Everyone has a different height, so um, we can adjust accordingly. What you want to do is put the other foot. Left foot forward, find balance. Right leg at a 45 degree angle. Hands on hip, makes it easy. And lean forward. Full extension, lean forward. Full extension, lean forward. Full extension, 
lean forward. And we can get a circle of forward again. And lift, back to base. Um, now we're gonna do um, some alternative movements on a seated board. I'm gonna get the board, make sure it's a clear format. And one of the accessories that I use are shrews. And I'm gonna show you how the versatility of the board can be used with um, modifications and external um, products. So, we're gonna be doing a seated row with our shrews. So position yourself with the shrews in here. Make sure you hold on to them. And we're gonna put our feet about six inches in front of the board. Sit down. And as you sit down, you realize that you're getting this movement in your hips and your back. So you wanna make sure you're sitting down firm, that your shoulders are upright, that your feet are pointed forward, that your heads are straight, and you wanna hold on to the resistance bands. And as you go and rowing, close your eyes if you like, make believe you're in the middle of, of a beautiful river, but you wanna make sure that you allow for the adjustments that are, are going underneath your seat and also for your palm. So, we're gonna lean forward, pull back. Lean forward, pull back. Forward, pull back. Using your biceps, using some twisting, you realize that the strong board balance is doing its job too because you're getting this core that's leaning forward, countering the movement of your arms and the rowing because you need to adjust the balance underneath your seat as well. Your legs, your feet, your seat, your abs, your arms, coordinating and creating this dynamic stability in your system. Your body is keeping focus on maintaining composure. Of course, I'm just... And doing full extensions and keeping your feet balanced as you're in a seated position on a strong board balance. So overall, we did a couple of combinations that utilize a strong board balance. We started off with initially warming up, make sure that you understood where your surroundings were. Then we started on a bilateral push-up, which was double hands. Then we showed an exercise with bilateral feet, doing squats. And then we moved on to uh, seated positions with uh, using the accessories on troops. And we also showed you some unilateral positions utilizing one leg, and we showed that the, uh, uh, the lunge positions. Um, overall, the coordination is key. Uh, using the platform as a way to create uh, the body's equilibrium and understanding how the multi, multiple muscles work is key uh, in utilizing the strong foot balance. Thank you very much. I look forward to working with you guys much more and improving everyone's health. If you enjoyed this session with Joe Iacono, you can always access more of his classes or join him for live strong board sessions through his Instagram at movingmentum underscore LLC. You can also find him at www.movimentumllc.com.